The University of the Philippines is loading up on weapons as it gears up for war in the UP season 81 and even beyond. While the additions of Bright Acuity, Richie Rivero, and Kobe Paris have grabbed headlines, the well-rounded development of Javi Gomez de Liano has flown under the radar. For little brother Juan, that's a big mistake. I noticed that my bro has been struggling trying to find his game during the offseason, but after his PBA D-League stint, he showed how he really plays," he said. He then continued, I really think that he is one of the reasons that UP fans should be hopeful for. Dot indeed, it should be noted that even before Acuity, even before Rivero, even before Pars, and even before Juan GDL himself, Javi GDL was the first big fish state you had caught in recent history. And after a two-month stint in the PBA D-League, the incoming fourth-year player gave a reminder of why that was so. Suiting up from a Rinarong Pilipino, Javi GDL was time and again one of the top contributors in terms of scoring and rebounding. In a scintillating showing up against Hip, he dropped a career-best 27 points on 78% shooting from the field on top of five rebounds to lead his team to a 105-80 route. More than the numbers, however, the now 19-year-old bared a brand new facet of his game, that of playing as a guard. Juan GDL hopes his Kaya could continue showcasing that brand new facet of his game in the OOP. I think he would play better as a guard, so us together in the backcourt, that would be great. We are both shooters and can go switch on defense, he shared. Javi GDL could only agree. As he put it, sharing the backcourt with Juan will be really great. We've been playing together with Arkaya ever since so that will really be an advantage for us. Dot of course, the brothers said that a GDL backcourt is best left to the judgment of head coach Bo Parasol. In our team, we have a lot of good backcourt players, so I wouldn't really mind if I go of the bench or if I start, Javi said.